Did you know that you can use Fibonacci numbers to convert between miles and kilometers? Let me show you how and why. Fibonacci numbers, to find each one, we add the previous two. For example, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, 8 plus 13 is 21, and so on. How can that possibly be related to miles and kilometres? Well, maybe you know 5 miles is about 8 kilometres, 3 miles is about 5 kilometres. 5 and 8, those are consecutive Fibonacci numbers. 3 and 5, consecutive Fibonacci numbers. That is not a coincidence. There are no coincidences in maths. So what's going on? Well, to convert between miles and kilometres, we need to know that one mile is about 1.609 kilometres. So to convert from miles to kilometres, multiply by 1.609. To go from kilometres to miles, divide by 1.609. I don't know about you, but I can't do that in my head. Fibonacci numbers can help. If we look at what happens when we divide each Fibonacci number by the previous one, we get this sequence of ratios that tend to the golden ratio, which is 1 plus the square root of 5 all divided by 2. It's about 1.618. This is one of the many intriguing and beautiful properties of the Fibonacci numbers. 1.618, that's pretty close to 1.609. That's why there's this connection with miles and kilometres. So to convert, we can use nearby Fibonacci numbers. Let me show you what I mean. So if we think about 36 miles, that's pretty close to 34, which is a Fibonacci number. 34 miles is about 55 kilometers. 55 is the next Fibonacci number. And actually, if I think about the difference, so two miles, next Fibonacci number, that's about three kilometers. So if I add, I see that 36 miles, that's about 58 kilometers. If you do the calculations, 36 times 1.609, that's about 57.9 something. It's really close to 58, great approximation. So the next time you're converting between miles and kilometres, don't forget the Fibonacci numbers.